Hello, I'm James Curry with the Communication Department, and I'm talking to Vakia Singleton. She's an outreach educator with the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Program. Vakia, how are you? I'm doing well, James. How about yourself? I'm never better. Never better. Um, thank you for being on Wellness Wednesday. Now, um, we're talking, it's May, and historically, May has been Teen Pregnancy Prevention Awareness Month. Which That's is correct. which is a mouthful. That's a lot to say, but Very they've shortened. Nice. Yeah, they've shortened it, and they made it a little bit easier to remember. Um, and there's a hashtag that's associated with it. So, can you tell me about that? Yes. Yeah, so, um, as James stated, May was originally coined as Teen Pregnancy Prevention Month, but because teen pregnancy prevention has such a stigma behind it, and oftentimes our um, teen parents already feel ashamed um we don't want them to feel ashamed about being teen parents so with that being said they've since changed teen pregnancy teen pregnancy prevention month to sex ed for all month to make it inclusive to everyone yeah that seems like it's um it's a little bit more friendly obviously yeah. um so i know you have somebody else with you and we're going to speak to him in just a moment but kia thank you for being on wellness wednesday you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Nikila Nichols, you're also an outreach educator with the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Program. So thanks for being on Wellness Wednesday. Um, how are you? Doing well, James. Thanks for having us. Yes, sir. Uh, so let's expand a little bit on what Vicki and I were talking about. She kind of laid the groundwork a little bit as to why you guys are on Wellness Wednesday and what's the significance of May. So um, just tell me, what are the goals that this program is trying to achieve during this month? Well, the goals uh, that we're trying to achieve is just uh, information. And as Vakia said uh, previously, just to, um, to come back some of the stigma that's um, that's associated with um, pregnancy prevention and um, having a comprehensive um, outlook and an inclusive outlook uh, on sex ed and to uh, address uh, sexual assault, sexual abuse, uh, to address uh, uh, healthy relationships and to address um, the negative uh, negative results, uh, a stigma that goes with sex ed. Also negotiation skills uh, with our teens um, to give them uh, the, the outreach and the outlook of, of, uh, of a positive nature uh, in this world we call life. Yeah, and that's a very, very good program. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, you all work with teens that are already pregnant, but you know, you're also speaking to them about making better choices and abstinence and, you know, so it's not just a, uh, you know, you're already pregnant, what now kind of situation. It's um, let's help you before you get there. But if you are there, you know, we're still going to help you um, in this program. Right. So, so you all are at one of our different locations. You're at the teen center and that's, that's an acronym. So tell everyone what the Teen, T-E-E-N stands for in the Teen Center. Teens empowered through education and nurturing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what the Teen Center is all about. Yeah, it's pretty comprehensive. Uh, you guys are located there. Um, the fatherhood program is there. I mean, it, you know, mm -hmm. it just makes sense to have all of those programs housed in the same location. Right, um, one stop shop for our for our uh, our uh, youth that are are challenged with these mm -hmm. issues. Uh, it's a safe place. It's a place mm -hmm. where they can come and get the guidance and and the resources. Right, you know, WIC is also in that building as well too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're able to link, um, you know, parents and families in this program up to our other services. So. Like right. you mentioned, it is a one-stop shop. So that's uh, very, very beneficial for those needing those services. Um, so there is a phone number for you guys. If you will give everyone the phone number of how to get in touch with you. How to get in touch with us. Very simple. 
544 2096. That's 251 544 2096. Thank you. I think that that number is very comprehensive for anybody that has any questions or if, you know, they just need some advice and input from you all. I know that you can help steer them in the right direction. Exactly. Well, thank you for being on Wellness Wednesday and thank you for talking about sex ed for all month, which is May. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a good day.